We are experimenting with television. Won't you project into the homes of the nation some of your interesting, believe it or not, material? Today is a legal holiday, and almost everyone will be at home. Well, since you mentioned that today is a legal holiday, I'll start right now. There is no such thing as a legal holiday in this country. Either Christmas, New Year's, Fourth of July, Labor Day, or any other holiday that we observe is legal. And none of them have ever been made legal by any act of Congress. If you're interested in Scotch, let me tell you that a Scotchman actually gave away 350 millions of dollars. His name you probably all know, Andrew Carnegie. He gave away 350 millions of dollars. While you are seeing me in your own home, let me show you a picture of a blind man and the home he built unaided with his own hand. He is Francis A. Burdett of Wayne, New Jersey. Now, I would like to show you the longest word in the world. This word contains 184 letters. You can find it in the works of Aristophanes. I will write it for you. How would you like to be kept after school writing this word several hundred times? And would you like to hear it pronounced? I have with me a distinguished scholar who will pronounce it for you, Mr. Gallagher. If I don't tell my show, she like coke, I've pulled out, pim a pot, trim a stroke, plea, cut, drove, pitch, I don't, I don't, stare a trio, freeze that, oh, be forward, pile up, be the red, paint us, and hope we trail a pit, freeze that, oh, take it, and turn That word means no, and I don't care. That word means pack. Will you keep it? <laughs> well, that certainly was a mouthful. Speaking of mouthfuls, let me tell you about a fish that carries its mouthful of ammunition. It's the big shotgun of the Orient. I'll draw a little picture for you. <laughs> a rifle fish, a fish that uses its muzzle to shoot with. If it sees a fly or any other insect resting on a twig overhanging the water, it shoots a drop of water at the insect with such accuracy and force that the insect is knocked into the water where it is quickly snapped up. Baseball fans may be interested in one of the strangest home runs ever made. This home run was made by a man with his head. This was told to me by John McGraw, a uh, manager of the New York Giants. This game was played in the South in 1890. Outfielder Hortner missed the fly ball in the sun. The ball struck him on the head and bounced over the fence for a home run. If there are any manicurists in the audience, I wish they would follow this picture closely. This is a Chinese priest that I met in Shanghai, China. He had fingernails 22 and 3 fourths inches long. It required 27 years for him to grow them. Long fingernails 
in China indicate that the man is a gentleman and does not have to work. I will now draw a picture of a Spanish lady, Senora Salomea Wu, who had her husband's portrait tattooed on her tongue. was done as a penance for nagging him to death. Let me introduce to you Carl Vaughn of New York, former amateur pocket billiard champion. Mr. Vaughn can pick up and hold in one hand 12 pocket billiard balls. You will note that Mr. Vaughn has unusually small hands. and that he keeps one hand beside him, and his body does not touch the table. The first six balls are the hardest, he says. Why, it looks like he's all balled up. Mr. Vaughn could pick them up with his other hand, but that wouldn't be right. 